Hi everyone, I'm here in Totowa, New Jersey, at the Little Sisters of the Poor. I'm here to interview George Marmo's mom. Her name is Eleanor. She's 94 years old. She's been living in this facility for a number of years. And I'd like to have an interview with her to show you what the purpose is that she can explain as a senior. I'm going to take you into this most wonderful building full of beautiful flowers. And it's just beautiful. Somebody has to water these. It's 95 degrees out here today. All of these flowers are taken care of uh, by a volunteer. So a volunteer comes and plants all the flowers, and it's got a vegetable garden in the back. And oh, wow. takes care of all of the, uh, the plants and shrubs. This is so beautiful. Okay. Okay, so I'm here with Eleanor Marmo, right? Mm -hmm. And um, I'm in her apartment. Um, so I just wanted to know how you like living here first. Love it. How long have you been here? I'm going to start my 13th year. So 13 years. And what brought you to live in this community here? Mom lived here for 12 years and I just loved the community. And when I retired, I was home alone. Mm -hmm. I felt I needed more stimulation. So I said, let me put my name in and go to Little Sisters. Okay. I am. So you've been living in this wonderful apartment for all this time, mm -hmm. right? Okay. Did you get to pick your apartment, or you had to just whatever was At the vacant or... time when I was told I could come in? Mm -hmm. There were two apartments, and I chose this one over the other. So you did get to choose a little bit. Yeah. That's kind of fun. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. So the reason why I wanted to do this interview was because you know, first of all, I was impressed. I met her son George, and Eleanor is ninety-four years old, which is unbelievable. I hope you don't mind me saying no. that on camera. <laughs> <laughs> but what's incredible is that she works in the. Um, tell me about your job here. It's not a job. I just or, volunteer. Or volunteer. I have a little work. country store where residents come and buy their okay. toothpaste and all the little necessities. Right. And I volunteer in the craft room. Okay. And what do you do there? Huh? Well, I can make baskets. Right now I'm sewing for uh -huh. Father, who's going to Ireland. <laughs> oh, so you're bringing him, he's bringing him to Ireland with him? Yeah, his little snag a bag. Oh, okay. And things like cool. that, you know. That's and, good. Uh, is there a group of you that sew together? Here, yeah, or we can go in there and sew. I do that, okay. but I also sew at home too. Okay. And crochet, whatever they want done, I do. So, how you been feeling at your age? At Fine, great. You feel good. You great. get out with your son. You get to go shopping. Uh huh. I go shopping. Tell me what your day's like here. Well, in the morning, have breakfast, take a shower, go to mass by eleven, sometimes ten thirty for rosary. Beautiful. That's every day, right? Yeah. Monday and Tuesday is kind of room. I do. It's flexible. Mm -hmm. Wednesday I go to the craft room. Thursday I get my hair done. Friday I run the country store. Okay. Saturday and Sunday with family or out with father. So the week is really busy All for busy. you. Yeah, yeah. So to me, it's either Monday or Friday. I don't know where the middle of the week goes. I don't know where the weekends go. That's exciting because you don't. You know, it's going to be fun. Yes. Well, first of all, I see a positive attitude. You know. Uh, we're all going to get older together, or some older quicker, or whatever. Mm -hmm. But it's like, how do we feel about that? You know, I have some patients that are scared about getting old, or mad that you know their left toe hurts or something. But it's all part of us as we just change and get older, right? Yeah, I think it's all in God's plan. Everything, my daily life is in His is His plan. Mm. So your religion has allowed you to be very strong and I think positive. So. I think so. And have a good outlook every day, no matter what. Yeah, no matter what. That's great. So, what kind of a message do you have for other people who are, as they're aging, to find purpose? Like, what would be the thing? Stay active. Okay, stay active is important. I definitely. That's important. Be kind. Good one. Compassionate. Okay. And and for purpose, you had a positive attitude because you had God as your strength. Mm -hmm. Um, some people may not be feel that way necessarily, unfortunately, but, but that's okay. That's their, their belief. Mm -hmm. But how do we help them have purpose or have enough strength? Do you think being a friend, being a friend to people who need you yeah. Yeah. Being and a friend. does that make you feel like they need you? And then you had something you could do for them. Yeah. yeah, I do. So having purpose is cool. I think we feel that at all our all ages. That you know, what do you do when you retire? And then what's your what are you going to do now? Do you just disappear, or do you find something to help people with? You know, volunteering, learn a new craft, 
learn something new, you know, because otherwise we just become lumps and logs, right. right? Yeah, that's why anybody who has a, a dull life at home should come to a place like this. There's many of them around, but it stimulates you. It gets you up in the morning and you... So you, would, so you would recommend my patients, which many of them were, living alone in a high ranch, all alone, roosting in a, in a house of nine rooms, half of them not occupied, Right. should come to a really cool place like this and make friends and have a, a community. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. Well, Eleanor, I want to thank you for You're welcome. meeting with me. I hope you don't mind me calling you Eleanor. No, no, not at all. It was a pleasure. Thank you very Same much. Way. Thank you so much.